And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is CSKA Moscow against FC Twente. Well, with a point in match day one at home, the visitors come here, never easy to travel on a European night. They really need to get something out of this game. for the hosts today and this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays yeah most coaches are adopting this formation what it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker Vlasic might really be able to trouble them here Konstantin Kuchayev. Fruitful looking attack. Crisp tackling. And unable to keep possession. Promising looking ball. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I see. Well, it leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Konstantin Kuchayev. Oblyakov. An alert intervention. Elias Skiri. What can they do from here? And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Salomon Rondon. Vlasic. He's allowed his opponent to get past him. Rondon. A really vital interception. Harit, a glorious chance. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Amin Harit. Skiri. They've regained possession. Salomon Rondon. And on the ball, Vlasic. Good technique displayed. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Iniesta. Possession lost. Well, they've lost the ball. Elias Skiri. 
The ball with Pepe. Amin Harit. Iniesta in the centre. And danger still. Well, I think the threat has been averted. Vlasic. Well, they might be onto something. Rondon. A oh, tremendous block. He has time to play it over. Cuts it back. Rondon. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. As you can see, the visitors don't have too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Rondon. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. They've won back possession. Openda. The press was on and it worked. Salomon Rondon. Ejuke. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Obliakov. A wonderful intervention. He's got the right idea with that pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. He must tread carefully here. Obliakov. Promising sequence. Obliakov. Rondon. Can they get in behind them? He's got to score! Ball is loose. Corner given. And firing it into the area. And with that, the first half draws to... And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Pepe. And through it goes to the keeper. Ikoma Luis Openda. Really bright looking attack. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Vlasic. You've certainly got to give this map. He's in behind. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. This looks promising. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively, given the circumstances. And let's join Alan McAnally, because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Alan? It's a second goal for Bayern Munich. 54 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Harit. Real danger. It's opening up for them. Here's Skiri. Iniesta. Skiri. And he read it well, intercepting it. 
the hosts have really controlled possession. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. So, a level contest. 1-1. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Salomon Rondon. Oh, superb skill. Just the challenge that was required. Elias Skiri. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he put it away? It could be up for grabs. Vlasic. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. It might be on for them. Amin Harit. The ball with Iniesta. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Can he make it count? And a goal! Just like that! Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. And news of a goal in the Bayern game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Leon. 71 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Now can they make something happen? That's not a bad ball. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Ground to make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them. And now the delivery. Is he able to dispatch it? That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Over it comes. What a vital intervention. Rondon. Mario Fernandes. Rondon. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. I believe there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Bayern Munich. 80 minutes played, 3-1. Many thanks, Alan. Opportunity it is. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Here it is now, a substitution. Obliakov are showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out well they haven't been at their best today that's for sure but this game is far from over and the fans are certainly reminding them of that you've got to think there'll be one more chance or two
Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Oblyakov. Can he finish? Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And the referee says that will do it. A positive.